Welcome to Who Smarted. Please help us reach as many families as possible with our free show and our free curriculum by letting your friends know about us. It's really the best way for us to grow. And if you can leave a good review at Apple Podcasts, we'd love it. And if you aren't already signed up for our email list, sign up today at www.whosmarted.com and get your free curriculum and home activity guide with every episode. Shout out to Adrian P. from Tampa and your brother Jimmy. Thanks for listening and letting us know how much you enjoy the show. Like, follow, and comment on Facebook at facebook.com backslash whosmarted, and you might get your own shout out. Now, it's time to open your ears as you learn all about your ears. All right, welcome back, everybody, to Everybody's Got Talent. Before the break, we met the femur, also known as the thigh bone. It's the longest and strongest bone in the human body. But will that be enough to win your vote? Time to meet our next act. From the biggest bone in the human body to the absolute smallest, these bones are so tiny, altogether they're no bigger than a pencil eraser. Coming to us all the way from the middle ear, give it up for the Ossicle. Welcome to Everybody's Got Talent, Ossicles. Tell us about yourselves. Hi, my name's Stapes. I'm the smallest named bone in the human body. I'm the shape of a stirrup, and about the length of a nickel and penny stacked on top of each other. Well, that sure is tiny. And I see you brought two friends with you. Yes. With me is Incas. Hi. And this big guy is Amius. Hello. We call him the Hammer. And together we're... The Obstacles. All right. The stage is yours. Show us all what you've got. Wow, the crowd loved your performance. For three tiny little bones, you sure do make a big sound. Tell us a little more about your act. Well, we're a trio of bones that move together in unison, kind of like a lover. Ah, so you move as a three-part machine in rhythm with that drum. That's right. Correct. When the drum beats quietly, we all move together to make the drum sound louder. Now, what kind of drum is that? It doesn't look like an ordinary drum. Yes, it's a very special drum. This is your eardrum. We take sound from the eardrum and amplify it. By amplify, you mean make it bigger? That's right. Correct. As small as we are, Without us ossicles, you wouldn't be able to hear a single sound. Did you hear that, folks? Without these teensy tiny bones, none of you would even be able to hear anything right now, which wouldn't be good for this show or this podcast. Who's smarter? Now that is impressive. All right, it's time to cast your vote on Everybody's Got Talent. Who's it going to be? The Itty Bitty Ossicle or the Great Big Femur? Text us your votes now. Psst. Hey, kid. Who knew three tiny ear bones could be so loud? I say goats! And competitive. The fact is, when it comes to your ears, there's a lot of fascinating things going on behind the scenes you may have never thought about. Like, how does your hearing work? Hmm... How does your hearing affect your balance? Whoa. And should you always believe everything you hear? I don't know. Listen up. It's time for another whiff of science on... Who smarted? Who smarted? Who smart? Is it you? Is it me? Is it science? Or history? Listen up. Everyone, we make smarting lots of fun. But who smarted? Okay, you've met the ossicles, three small but mighty bones in your middle ear. Ossicles. But what exactly do the ossicles do? Hmm. Well, their job is to pass along sounds coming in from your outer ear, which is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. The outer ear is the part of your ear that sticks out from either side of your head. Do you know why your ears are shaped the way they are? Hmm. Is it 
A. To stick out and embarrass you. <laughs> B. To hold your hair back. Scrunchies. C. To show off your new earmuffs. What? Or D. To act as a funnel, channeling sound waves into your eardrum. While technically any of these answers could be right, we're going to go with D. Your outer ear works like a funnel, focusing and channeling sound waves into your eardrum, which in turn amplifies the sound waves before passing them on to your inner ear. And that's when things get really interesting. Huh? It's your inner ear's job to turn those sound vibrations into electrical impulses that your brain can understand. Ah. To find out how, grab a surfboard and come with me. Yo, what's up, narrator dude? Sup? How's the surf today? Epic, bro. The cochlear's really rocking. Every time a sound comes through, it kicks up some gnarly waves. Now, some of you may be wondering how my tubular friend here can surf inside your inner ear. Well, it's because of the fluid inside a tiny bone structure in your inner ear called the cochlea. The cochlea looks like a little snail shell. Cute. And it's filled with a fluid that acts a lot like salt water. When sound vibrations are passed along from your eardrum to the ossicles, those vibrations make the liquid inside the cochlea move like waves in an ocean. Here comes an awesome wave. Hang 10, bro. Woo! Whoa. Nice ride, dude. Those gnarly waves in the cochlea cause several thousand hair-like cells in your ear to move. Whoa, I can really do some good surfing here in my ear. That movement turns the sound waves into the electrical signals your brain understands and interprets as sound. Now, which hair-like cells move depends on the kind of sound vibrations that are passing through. High-pitched sound waves are picked up by the longest hair-like cells, while low-pitched sound waves are picked up by the shortest hair-like cells. But that's not all that's going on in your inner ear. It turns out your inner ear is also really important when it comes to balance. Did somebody say balance? Uh, who are you? First name, Derry. Last name, Dightrope. Pleased to meet you. Your name is Derry Dightrope? No, Derry with a D. I'm a professional dightrope walker. I get the circus. Oh, you mean Terry Tightrope. Yes, sorry. I have a... Got you! Cold. Now, every time I get up on the tightrope like this, I wobble this way, whoa, 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 and I wobble that way, whoa, whoa, whoa. Then I fall. You say you've got a cold, huh? Pardon? I can't hear good. My ears are all plugged up. Ah, now I get it. When you have a cold and your ears feel plugged up, it's hard to walk straight, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Got you! Since tightrope walking requires excellent balance, it's no wonder you keep falling. And you help me? <laughs> it's going to take some time to cure your cold, but I can tell you why you keep losing your balance. Inside your inner ear, next to your cochlea, are three tiny tubes that make up what's known as your vestibular system. These tubes are filled with fluid that shifts when you move your head. One tube tracks up and down movement, like when you shake your head yes. Uh Uh-huh. One tube tracks side to side movement, like when you shake your head no. Uh Uh-uh. And the last tube tracks when your head is leaning towards one shoulder or the other. The movement of this fluid has a lot to do with keeping your balance. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It does? Have you ever spun around and made yourself dizzy? Of course. Who hasn't? You could try this at home, but please, make sure you have someone with you to catch you and that there's nothing sharp around me when you do this. Just spin yourself around while I explain what's happening to you. Now, while you're spinning around, the fluid in your vestibular system starts moving in a circle right along with the rest of your body. The problem is, when you stop, the fluid is still moving. This makes walking nearly impossible until the fluid stops moving, too. Okay, stop spinning. Are you able to walk? And even if you can, it's probably tough. Okay, sit down and let your ear fluid come to a rest. Anyways, a similar thing happens when you have a cold. Got you! The pressure in your ears gets all wacky, which messes with the fluid in these tubes. So, got you! Terry Tightrope. For now, until your cold goes away, my advice is no walking. Especially. 
especially on a tightrope. I promise. <laughs> Achoo! Ugh, here's a tissue. Thanks. While your ears play a big part in maintaining balance, their main job, of course, is to hear and translate sounds to your brain. But can your brain trick your ears into hearing something that's not there? Huh? Let's find out after this quick break. Okay, we're back. For this next game, I want you to listen very carefully. Okay. If you're listening on headphones, great. If you have headphones, put them on. Or just lean in as close as you can to whatever device you're listening on. Great. For the next 20 seconds, I'm going to play some audio. All you have to do is listen out for whatever words you hear. Feel free to write them down or say them out loud, but try to remember as many as you can. Are you ready? Yes! Here we go. Okay, so, what words did you hear? Call them out. I'm listening. Interesting. Okay, here are some of the ones I heard you say. Nowhere, no way, no brain, window, welcome, melting, love me, run away, raincoat, mango, Broadway, or maybe you heard some different words entirely. But there's just one thing. There were no words spoken in this audio clip. Huh? All we did was play two different syllables or sounds, one in the left ear and one in the right. And then we switched them. Listen. However, because your ears and brain are so used to listening out for words, they combine the sounds to make you hear words that weren't really there. Whoa. But while your ears and brain were definitely tricked, it's actually a good thing because it shows how attuned you are to understanding language and making sense of the world around you. So good job, ears. Oh, and speaking of ears, let's see how our friends the ossicles made out. And the winner of every Body's Got Talent is... The Ossicles! The Ossicles! I said the Ossicles! The Ossicles? Um, hello? Where are the ossicles? Sorry, we couldn't hear you. We had headphones on. Thanks for listening to Who Smarted. Please tell your friends about the show and let them know. A new episode comes out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And by subscribing on your favorite podcast app, you're sure never to miss an episode. Today's episode, Ears, was written by Rebecca Cameron and voiced by Ryan Birch, Charlotte Cohn, Jason Williams, Adam Surf Davis, Dan Bromfield, and yours truly, Jerry Colbert. Technical direction and sound design by Josh Hahn. Who Smarted was recorded and mixed at the Relic Room Studio. Theme song by Brian Suarez. Lyrics written and performed by Adam Tex Davis. Who Smarted was created and produced by Adam Tex Davis and Jerry Colbert. This has been an Atomic Entertainment production. Who Smarted? Who Smarted?